Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my pop culture um, readathon. This readathon is going to take the, the whole month of July. So it starts July 1st, it goes until the 31st. Um, there are four different bingo boards, and this is a 90s pop culture readathon. Um, I'll leave all the links down below to the Twitter. Whoever created this readathon did a great, great job. And I have a lot of books um, that I'm going to read for this readathon. Um, I did write all of the bingo boards down. Um, so there's this one is the Teen Dream um, bingo board. Um, and I have all of the prompts that I'm going to do and like what books. Um, and then there's the Family Affair. Essentially, this follows uh, 90s movies, and then you have Thrill Ride, and then the Adult Table. Those are the four bingo boards, and the main goal is to get at least one bingo on each board. Um, I also am going to be watching um, a lot of 90s movies, uh, re-watching them. Um, so, yes. I'm just going to... Um, start with the books that I plan on reading and what challenges they meet. So the first one I don't actually have a physical copy of, and that is Wild Girl, Wilder Girls by Rory Power, and that meets the challenge for Cher and Jumanji. Then we have The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. And this could meet the challenge for 10 Things I Hate About You, Drive Me Crazy, Soul Food, and The Best Man. So I will figure out what this one is going to meet the challenge for. Then I have The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. Um, and this meets the challenge for 10 things I hate about you, never been kissed, and the best man. Then we have Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia, Talia Herbert. Herbert. Um, and this meets the challenge for Kate Stafford, Stranford, sorry, I Know What You Did Last Summer, Sister Act, and Never Been Kissed. And then we have Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Tibi Talia Hibbert. Um, and this uh, uh, meets the challenge for Drive Me Crazy and Sister Act 2. Um, but I know 100% I'm reading these two books. I don't know what they're going to meet the challenge for, but I'm reading these two books in July. I'm super excited. Um, and then we have um, Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown. I have this on my Kindle. I don't have it physically. And that meets the challenge for The Wood and Girl Interrupted. Um, then I have All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. And this meets the challenge. You didn't tell me you were talking. Oh, taking me to a gay bar. And Pretty Woman. I'm super excited to read this. This is a memoir, um, and I'm really excited to read this, and it's so pretty, um, and, like, my favorite color is blue, and pink are, like, my favorite colors, so I love them. Um, and then we have The White Swap by Alicia Rye, right? Um, this meets the challenge for Billionaire Dad and Never Been Kissed. Um, and it's so pretty. I, li I love the pink. So those are those that I have um, that meet multiple challenges. Now I'm going to say um, the ones that I don't also have. So I have a uh, Wish Upon a Star by... Uh, I was going to do um, Girls Made of Star by Ashley Hearing Blake. I have that on my Kindle. Then for um, You're Killing Me Smalls, I have The Cheerleader by Kira Thompson. Pop 
yeah, Thomas, sorry, not Thompson, Thomas, um, and this is a YA thriller, so there's that, and that was on the um, Family Affair. Um, for the thrill ride, I have um, Enchant, which is going to be for um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is to read a, The Chosen One Trope by Macaulay Smeltzer. This will be a reread. Um, and also on Thrill Ride, I have Covet um, by Macaulay Smeltzer, which is What's Your Favorite Scary Movie, which is read a book by one of your favorite authors. Um, and this is book two in that series. Um, this is the, the only book by her that I've not read. Um, so, yes. Um, this is like a paranormal, witchy story. Um, and I'm excited to continue on with this series. So, yes. And then also on Thrill Ride, I have... Um, uh, light as a feather, stiff as a board, and for that I'm going to read No Exit by Taylor Adams. This is um, a book with a creepy or haunted feel, um, and I feel like this would be creepy. Um, so, yes. And that is all the, oh no, and then Everyone's a Suspect. Um, which is to read a thriller, I think. Yeah, mystery or a thriller. And I have The Whisper Man by Alex North. Um, so I just bought the audiobook to this, so I'll probably listen to it. So I have three thrillers on this list, and I don't usually read those. Um, so we'll see how I feel about those. Um, and then... On the last, did I, I'm missing a word. I didn't mention one book, sorry, I'm trying to figure out where it was. Oh, yeah. And then for the family affair, we have Welcome to Good Burger, and that is read a book that is food related, title, cover, plot, um, and that I have with. The Fire on High by Elizabeth Esvenito. I'm sure I'm not saying that correct, but I'm super excited to read this. This is a gorgeous book, and like the Without the Dust Jacket is gorgeous too. Um, I know Books in Law love, love this book. Sorry, I, I'm not used to hard hardbacks. I read a lot of paperbacks. Um, but I'm super excited to read that. Um, and then the last book I have to show you that is on my plans is The Poet X, and this is going to be for the challenge of poet, poetic justice, which is read a book written in verse, and this is also by Elizabeth, um, as ver, I can't even, as Verito, sorry, um, but I'm super excited to read this. Um, I am the, uh, I think I have a hold on it, uh, this audio for from my library, or I might even have this now. I know I got three books um, from the library. I know the Wild uh, Wild Girls. I might read this one, and I don't remember what the other one is. Um, also. As I said, I have uh, The Whisper Man. Um, uh, and I think those might be the only ones I have on audio. I know I requested a few more. I'm pretty sure I also requested with the high, Fire on High also on audio. Um, I may have requested some more. I think the cheerleaders I may have requested too, um, but other than that, I think I don't have all that much audiobooks for the week, for the month, um, which is good because I'm also going to participate in another um, month-long readathon, which I'll have a di additional 
PBR video for that. Um, but as I said, um, these are the books that I'm going to read and try to get them into challenges, bingo. And if I could get at least one bingo on each board, I would be happy. Um, and I'm super excited to participate in this readathon. Um, as I said, I'm going to be rewatching a lot of these um, books, mo movies, rewatching a lot of these movies um, because some of them are my favorite movies for when I was younger. Um, and this readathon is like the perfect readathon for me because I actually was born in July 1990. Um, so I am a full 90s um, girl. And also my birthday is in July. So yes, um, I'm super excited to read all of these. These are like on um, my top TBR. So that works. Um, and if you're participating in this readathon, what um, challenges are you going to try to um, compete, complete, and what bingo board are you doing? And I'll see you guys later. Bye.